Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog from beautiful Yucatan, Mexico. And I hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. Obviously, we're taking a little break down here in Mexico, but I promise we'll be back at the Reptarium tomorrow. And I've mentioned in the past that I'd rather spend money on experiences rather than on material things. Well, I like to spend money on snakes, but we're having an absolutely beautiful excursion. But we're gonna be back at the Reptarium tomorrow. Don't you worry. Today, we are going on adventure, meeting up with a friend of mine, Victor, who's a guy. He's gonna take us on a crazy adventure. What do you say? We meet up with Victor and get on the road. And of course, the way we typically do things. I'm hooking up with our friend Victor, who's a tour guide down here in the Yucatan Peninsula. I uh, have no idea what we're going to do. I told him just to take us out on a day trip to have uh, an adventure. So I have no idea where we're going, but it's going to be fun, right? Oh yeah. What can possibly go wrong, right? So <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> let's go meet up with Victor and get it on the road. Man, how are you? How's it going, How are you? Good to see you. Beautiful out here. Awesome. I was just Beautiful, telling myself, man. You're right. again. <laughs> how you guys doing? How's it been? been two years? Uh, it's been a couple oh, years. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Right. I'm looking forward to the adventure. Oh my God, it's gonna be awesome. All right, it's let's. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of sightseeing today. All right, well, let's go. All right, let's do it. Yo, Eric, what's up, dude? What the hell are you doing here? I, I was coming to hang out. What are you doing? How'd you dude? get past the tripwire? Mary! Was I supposed to talk? I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird when you're at home, you're just too relaxed. All right, we'll start over. Here we go. We're starting over, hopefully. <laughs> down here in my basement, of course, you've seen the models, you've seen all the craziness down here with my beautiful wife, Mary. Just want to update you guys on a few animals. We're having uh, Jan Maria over for a nice little Sunday hangout session, so why not show you guys some stuff? Just actually picked this thing up. I haven't even posted this on Instagram yet, but uh, it is one of those iconic reptiles. I think every person that owns snakes and reptiles wants to own one day. That's the green, the emerald green tree boa. This thing is awesome. He was, not that he was rough when we got him, but they're definitely a more advanced animal to keep. Uh, he did have a small burn on the top of his head, but I think this guy's gonna do just fine. It's healing up great. I love this animal. You guys might remember, it was quite a while ago now that I think about it, but Brian surprised me with this snake here. This is a Texas het scaleless rat snake, and I named this little guy Texas Walker. Maybe you remember if you're a, a long time fan, I guess you could say, but he's doing really good. He's definitely a lot bigger than he was when we first got him. Uh, this guy's crushing food. He's doing really well. Still keeping a lot of that really dark color. I really liked him for this jet black tail. I mean, I uh, usually don't really see that on a lot of the other rat snakes, but definitely cool. Maybe we'll use him one day for a breeding project. Other than that, he's just kind of a pet rat snake. We have two of our Dracula line females. This one here is uh, Mina, and I've got Bloodbath right here. And we actually had a baby hatch from Bloodbath last week. So I'm gonna show you that one, but we also were waiting on these two eggs to hatch. They're so big. Oh my God, look at the size of those <laughs> compared to the other one, huh? So they'll act, the eggs will actually grow as they're getting closer to hatch date. Um, <laughs> so you can see we've got one and two are obviously the first one she laid and the third one down there was from last month. But they are beautiful, Jessica, yeah. holy cow. I cannot cow. wait till those guys hatch out. Oh and all right, let's see if I can pull the little baby. I'm so excited about these guys. They're looking nice. This is our first stop. It's absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at this. Lori, right, what are you doing over here? Just chilling. Come on in. Oh my gosh. Come on. <laughs> you can't even walk. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Just having fun at the Cenote. It's absolutely it's a beautiful and what a way to spend the day. Uh, gonna have a lot more adventure as ahead though. <laughs> there you go. See? <laughs> oh, it's so great. Uh, relaxing. <laughs> Checking out the ball pythons. We have been breeding them this year. Uh, we did bring these guys in and ultrasound them. 
This Enchi albino female is pretty close to uh, building some eggs here. She had pretty big follicles. Yep. What were they at? Like 20? They were over 20. So That's she's... one that was uh, found out in the woods. It's going to be a mommy. And this is her lovely boyfriend. Yep, so this is our cinnamon male. This I believe this was our first ball, ball python. python that we bought from BHP. So pretty wow. proud of that, you know. But I never thought I'd be breeding wild-caught snakes. <laughs> Uh, it was found in the woods. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Like This is a pretty sentimental yeah, pairing right here. It's is. this girl who obviously yeah. means a lot to you guys. And that yeah. first yeah. ball python you got from BHP. That's really cool. Exactly. So we're really excited. We also have her going with another male that's, what is he, just head He's albino? He's head albino, so we could have possible albinos. He's definitely one of my favorite animals, but I don't know. Don't listen to me. I say that about every animal. Really had to push Mary to get this one. I'm so happy we did. A lot of the other ones I see are pretty aggressive and they're very bitey and uh, people have to be really careful handling them. But this girl is really sweet. She's always been really sweet. I've never had any mishaps with her, but they are rear fang sub venomous. So always be careful, you know, when handling something like this. If you're allergic to bee stings, you know, you don't want to be around that stuff just in case, but uh, just an awesome animal. It's a bloody anaconda. Let's get close and personal with this animal. First, I gotta put on my safety equipment. Hey guys, it's Steve Grills here. Back again with a brand new episode. Today, I'm in with the elusive, wondrous, and sensual animal. Now, as you can see, it spends most of its time in the water. Let's get a taste. Mmm, so good. Look at the gut. Wow, it's tensing up a little bit. It's something you gotta be careful about for sure. It's just so beautiful, in it. In it. <laughs> Let's tell you some facts about these wonderful animals. Look at this! Guys, this is a freaking anaconda! We had fun at the cenote, and now we're in Koba. Uh, Victor, this is awesome, dude. This is what I was waiting for. This is crazy cool, man. This is the real deal, guys. This oh, is the God. real deal. Look at this, this place. Was, this was my in true power right here. Oh, it's amazing, you know? Look at this. You see the cell eyes of the great governors right there, and you know, showing all of their bravado and their captured place underneath their feet. Monuments dedicated to their ancestors and to their local deities, you know? Beautiful. So this one here is called the church. The church. Church. Wow. Still to this day come to leave offerings. Really? To, uh, yeah. Yeah, they'll burn uh, tobacco, they'll burn incense and stuff like okay. this for uh, good luck at hunting and you know, wow. good rainy season for their, for their crops. Good oh hunting. Oh my gosh. Take a look at this. This is so crazy. I mean, wow. This is so cool. You know, again, needed the mental break, but to come and see this is going to be it's a great way to take a break for the day for sure. It's another one of the rubber ball courts. They use an eight pound rubber ball uh, to get through here. Lori always likes to tell the story that they use human heads, but uh, that's just not the case. I thought for sure you were gonna make me ride the bike. <laughs> I was trying to get Lori to pedal, but she wouldn't. So uh, we're actually, uh, again, we're in Coba and we're just uh, cruising around and gonna see some ruins. I mean, this place is dope. Already saw a spider monkey. Well, maybe we'll see some snakes. Who knows what's gonna happen. Regardless, it's gonna be a good time. A few moments later. Take a look at guys. Woo. Woo. It's a little vine snake. Oh my gosh. Come on, little monkey. <laughs> Look at this. That's so cool. That's so pretty. That's so pretty. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this thing. Oh, that's okay, baby. It's all right. It's all right. Where are you going to go? <laughs> oh, there it goes. We'll let it cruise around. <laughs> that was awesome. So, whoa. 
What I was gonna say was, I usually don't take this animal out unless I'm cleaning, but this is our Biak green tree python. I know what you're thinking, it's not very green. But when they're babies, they're actually like a bright red, they can be a bright yellow, and they'll slowly transition to that awesome like green tree python color. So you can start to see the color coming through. This was another one of those animals that like, I feel like every reptile keeper eventually wants to have. Really happy we got this one. She is, uh, hopefully she is very shy. And uh, we, like I said, we don't handle her a lot, but when we do, it's really cool to get to check her out. Now, if I can move her around, you have to see the tip of her tail. So as you guys probably know, these snakes use it as a lure in the wild. They'll sit there still, wiggle that little lure, and then uh, find something to eat. Let's see if I can just position her here without biting Jay. Whoa, hey Ooh. girl, it's okay. Look at that little tail right there. Oh, she's thinking that's uh, oh, oh. let me grab her, I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Can you see oh, that tail? Go. There we Isn't go. that something? That's so cool. Looks like she's about to turd, so we better get her back in here. So why are you being so careful bringing this out? Oh gosh, because we're not at work. I'm not on the clock. I can't be getting bit by snakes. Are you kidding me? No, I'm just kidding. I just want to be very careful. These are just delicate little creatures. Probably remember Miguel gave me this one. Dude, look at that. I don't think it gets any better with uh, Amazon freaking tree boas. Freaking that, that color. So actually, I wanted to bring this out and talk to it. We're gonna be bringing this one in pretty soon. I wanna get the sex on this thing. I know you have to probe sex them. And uh, Jay's actually got one at home. We have some at work. We wanna breed these guys really bad. So hopefully we can. I think that'd be absolutely sweet, especially to get some of this color. I know it's not really like something you could put two and two together and get the same result out of. But look at that thing right there. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, so as you can see here, this girl has ovulated with her belly turned up on the side like that. All these pythons, these children pythons and spotted pythons have already started ovulating and I'm just waiting for them to shed to start counting down the days. The ball pythons are still about mm, three quarters of the way going. Most of them are gonna go off, I think, pretty soon. So it's looking really good down here. It's on foot from here. We're heading to, where are we heading to, Victor? So we're heading to a group uh, within Koba called Group Makanchok. Makanchok. So these are part monuments with the names and the, the dates, important dates of in the life of these of these ancient kings. And it's a form of uh, dedication, you know, to the memory of these ancient kings. We're looking at something that is is unique to powerful families. Mm. Okay, this form of artistic. Um, expression in the name of these of these governors is uh, I mean it was it was something that was only accessible to extremely powerful families which is the case of of Koba considering that Koba is one of the few Mayan independent states that had a leader with the title of a calompe which literally translates to king of kings oh. mm -hmm. his face his staff power in his grip you see him here even with his fancy cuffs around his arms you can see some of the some of the wardrobe here um, you know hanging down the side the plumes coming from his hairdress and another little staff of power here coming from the forehead you guys remember uh, if you didn't uh, see the first time when uh, Victor took us on a tour of Chichen Itza uh, Lori did a really good job of explaining all of the arch architecture there so what <laughs> what was this again Lori <laughs> 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 oh god you're putting me on the spot well i'm reading this as this was definitely a powerful king and the thing in his head i see a little bit of a hook on it so i think that was something that he used to maybe just chop some heads off or, or go fishing mm, i wouldn't say fishing i would say probably i think he ruled with an iron fist okay and you know okay. that's what kept everybody okay. in check all right good job <laughs> The thing that I love in Koba is the fact that you can literally climb a lot of the, the stairs and monuments and that's what we're ultimately going to try to do is get a sunset on top of a temple so uh, that should be pretty dope. And we can actually climb to the top of this. It looks a little treacherous but should be fun. Ready for this Lori? Yeah, let's do it. Oh my gosh. Good thing I have good shoes on. Oh yeah, you got the climbing shoes. <laughs> they worked for the Great Wall. They'll work for this. <laughs> oh 
Well, we made it to the top. It's pretty amazing. The view up here is incredible. I mean, take a look at this. And then, uh, you take a look at that. That's a long way down. <laughs> so, but uh, it's worth it. I tell you, we're just going to sit here and watch the sunset. It's going to be pretty awesome. What an amazing day these guys gave us. Guys, I'm going to put a link in the description. If you ever come to the, the Yucatan, Cancun, whatever, definitely uh, hit these guys up for an amazing adventure output. Again, all the links in the description. Reach out to me if you need anything. Uh, these guys will have an excursion that's absolutely incredible. Today was awesome. Thank you, guys. Usually before I go anywhere, I Google what species of animals I'm going to find there. And uh, I just didn't, just not thinking we are going to find anything here. Crazy. Lori spotted the snake in a tree, and it turned out that it was a bronze-backed parrot snake. So it's a pretty common common colubrid that's uh, you know native to the Yucatan area, completely harmless and stuff like that. But uh, it was a cute little bugger and a cool little bonus for this trip. What an amazing trip down to here to Mexico and definitely needed this little break to get re-energized. But, but it's absolutely amazing to be back here at the Reptarium. The next week is gonna be bonkers, guys. I mean, we have animals coming. We have cages that get done. We are literally a week away from the grand opening, of course, the 13th of March. Hopefully you guys can join us. So uh, I just buckle up. The next week is going to be bonkers, but so absolutely amazing, starting with tomorrow when we have amazing animals coming. So uh, that's it, guys. I'm back here. I'm rejuvenated. I'm excited. And we are about to launch the Reptarium 2.0. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Oh, and by the way, we got a podcast going on later tonight at 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you guys want to watch it, you can actually subscribe to that podcast right here. It's called Checking In. Over here is a bunch of vlogs. You can roll through a playlist if you so choose. On this side right over here, you can subscribe to this vlog channel. Channel, turn the post notification on. Have a wonderful day. Remember to be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.